Hello everybody, here's my Yamaha motif. Uh, after I redid the keys, got the broken ones glued, and uh, I was going to show you when you when you install the keys, when you slip them in, you have to be careful. See these little uh, stainless steel plates? Uh, the little arm that sticks out of the key it sits on top, and when you put it in, it may bend the back. So you have to kind of use a fine, fine blade screwdriver, hold it up, and gently insert it, and then uh, let it back in. Now, if you do bend them, what you can do is take something like the screwdriver and gently and push up on the key like that, and then you can hold this down. Or if it's bent backwards, which one of my accident did, you have to pull the key back out and push the push the little uh, stainless steel tab back out. Uh, and there's also a little rubber uh, pad on here. Make sure it doesn't push back. It's just a little through a little pinhole. Uh, that's how you take care of that. And now uh, the way this works is actually you got your. See if I can get this a little demo. You can see when it comes up makes contact with that and make sure it's not bent because it'll have a note on all the time. I believe this is for your aftertouch, the outer plate. Actually no that's not after that's just a way to use the velocity. Your aftertouch is actually in the strip that's under here. It's actually a red strip if I remember right. Yeah it's right here. That's your aftertouch and you can see it goes through here. This cable here would be for your aftertouch. Um, but then in the, again this is the for your velocity um, it's when it's all the way released when you look through here you'll see it's making contact with the, the other plate that's underneath there I know this resolution not too good but you'll get the idea when you look at it and so when you press like that contact should go off to make any more contact with the lower plate and then when you come all the way up it should make contact with the, the outer plate and you can probably see it's moving that's what you want you want a not so far bent that it doesn't work properly uh, once again just make sure when you release it's touching the bottom plate not touching the, the other plate here anyway and make sure it's not bent in any way that'll be your basic alignment so when I go, what you do is you go over everything, make sure everything is correctly aligned, then you should be good to go. And once again, this is the Yamaha Motif 6, old classic series. And we're getting ready to put it back together and try it out.